is exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise Him, He is exalted forever, exalted, and I will praise His name. He is the in His holy name. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today, the Easter day, the church is inviting us to celebrate. The joy in the celebration of centuries of the whole church celebrating the risen Lord celebrating the victory of sin and Satan celebrating the great hope that whatever sin we could be in whatever misery we could be entangled in God will win victory over everything bad and wrong in our lives. And God is in charge. God is in charge. God is in authority over the affairs of the world, over everything happening to us. With that confidence, we want to confess. After Easter, Confession becomes a joyous experience because we know we have forgiveness. We know we have victory over the powers of evil that hold us captive. With that confidence in the love and power of our God, let us confess together. I confess, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned. In, in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, words in, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, O oh Lord, Lord God, have mercy. Have mercy, O Lord God, have mercy. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, O Christ, Lord Christ, have mercy. Lord Christ, have mercy on earth, Lord Christ, have mercy. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, O Lord, Lord God, have mercy. Lord God, have mercy on us. Lord God, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth 
to people of goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. And glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity. Grant, we pray that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought about by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, verses 34, 37 to 43. Peter addressed Cornelius and his household. You must have heard about the recent happenings in Judea, about Jesus of Nazareth, and how he began in Galilee after John had been preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. And because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil. Now I... And those with me can witness to everything he did throughout the countryside of Judea in itself. And also to the fact that they killed him by hanging him on a tree. Yet three days afterwards, God raised him to life. And allowed him to be seen, not by the whole people, but only a certain witnesses God had chosen beforehand. Now, we are those witnesses. We have eaten and drunk with him after his resurrection from the dead. And he has ordered us to proclaim this to the people. And to tell them that God has appointed him to judge everyone 
alive or dead. It is to him that all the prophets bear this witness, that all who believe in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. This day was made by the Lord We rejoice and are glad This day was made by the Lord We rejoice and are glad Give thanks to the Lord for He is good For His love has no end let the sons of Israel say, His love has no end. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me up. I shall not die. I shall live and recount His deeds. This day was made by the Lord We rejoice and are glad The stone which the builders rejected Has become the cornerstone This is the work of the Lord A marvel in our eyes This day was made by the Lord we rejoice and are glad This day was made by the Lord We rejoice and are glad A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians Chapter 3, verses 1 to 4 since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven, where Christ is sitting at God's right hand. Let your thoughts be on heavenly things, not on the things that are on the earth, because you have died, and now the life you have is hidden with Christ in God. But when Christ is revealed, and He is your life, you are in all your glory with Him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah is a song of joy. Sing the song we will sing forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Let us celebrate the feast then in the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah is a song of joy. Sing the song we will sing forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord Spirit, our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, to O Lord. Lord. Chapter 20, verses 1 to 10. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb. Early in the morning, while it was still dark, and so the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord 
from the tomb. And we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there. And the clothes that had covered his head, not with the burial clothes, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciples also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned home. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, I used to teach philosophy in the seminary. Not only in the seminary, but in certain secular institutions as well. I loved to read famous philosophical writings. Some of them very inspiring, others terribly despairing. Once there was a discussion, a philosophical discussion in the faculty of philosophy in the nearby university. And the topic of discussion was John Paul Sartre. As you know, Sartre was a very negative thinker who insisted that life has no meaning. And during the discussion, I participated in my cassock that everybody should know that I am a priest. And one young college lecturer asked me, Father, don't you think that Sarth was right when he said, life in the world is absurd, is meaningless? What is around? Everything is wrong. Everything is bad. Unjust, corrupt systems thriving. And the poor and the innocent have no chance of life. Look at the terrible pain and suffering people are going through. Moreover, death is hanging above the head of everyone at the sword of Demosthenes. Whatever we achieve, whatever we plan, whatever dreams we may have, Everything would be thwarted by death. If tomorrow I'm going to die and everything is coming to an end, why should I live today? Why should I work today? Why should I find any meaning in life today? It's not everything fading away. It's not Sartre. Right in saying that life is meaningless. I said, Sir, yes, Sartre is right 
in saying that life is meaningless if you accept the starting point of sartre where does sartre start his philosophical thinking sartre starts his thinking on the death of god and by that the philosopher meant god is not existing god is absent from the affairs of the world to think of god is to think of irrelevant fantasy of the mind i told him if god is dead if god is irrelevant and absent from the world you're right life is meaningless on the earth but our faith is god is truly present god is really in charge god is operating in the world in my dear friends resurrection of jesus is the central pillar of christian faith and that's why st paul said if christ is not raised from the dead then our preaching is in vain we will be counted should be counted as fraudulent people and there's no meaning in life at all and that's why the, the central theme of the preaching of the apostles and of the early church that the lord is alive he's present is there for us for every one of us in love and that's what st peter said the first witness of the resurrection st peter said in the first reading today we ate with him we drank with him he was with us and a very tangible experience of the risen lord if if the resurrection is a truth and that's what we believe and that's what all the gospels are about then there are three things one this world is not yet complete nothing in this world is complete without god this world is not the final world the pleasures of this world are not the best god is operating and this a secularist vision of reality what is a secularist vision of reality that what is real is only what can be seen what can be touched what can be smelt what can be eaten only that is real in a secularist vision of reality god is out if you keep god out of this world nothing has meaning anymore nothing has relevance anymore but now that the lord is raised from the dead the tangible the visible are not the final horizon of all that is real all that all that can be enjoyed in this world all that can be achieved in the world is not the final delight of life is abiding and active as we read in the book of revelation behold i come to make everything new a new heaven and a new earth god is with us there will be no wailing or mourning anymore 
God is our light. The great hope that the Bible is inviting us to, to believe that God is more real. That the joy that God gives is more fulfilling. And life is worth living when we live it for God. A second meaning of the resurrection. Tyrants, your time is up. To imagine that they can get away with unjust ways and corrupt systems, they will be defeated. Roman Caesar was defeated in that empty tomb. It was Caesar's authority that sealed the tomb. The seal is broken. However unbreakable, the tyrants, the perpetrators of unjust systems, imagine, every such seal will be broken because the Holy Spirit is active, the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. What they did to Jesus was the worst but even that worst was greater. God's love was greater than the worst that they did to Jesus. Evil does harm us. And yet, when I am with my God, I trust in Him, I commit my life to Him, I am united with Him, with Him I will conquer all the powers of evil. The third thing the resurrection teaches us, the way of hope is open for us. Open for every one of us. Now, think of the cross. What was the cross? The journey of God all the way to the limits of the limits of human abandonment, to the limits of God forsakenness. Could anyone be tortured more than what happened on Calvary? Can anyone suffer than what Jesus suffered? Everybody abandoned him even his own disciples. At one time he thought even God abandoned him. And the Lord in unbearable agony cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? What was that cry? Wasn't it the agony the Son of God taking into his heart of everyone in pain, everyone tortured, everyone betrayed, everyone abandoned, everyone run away from, everyone who feels God is far away when God is abandoned, did not prophet Isaiah say, it was our afflictions that he took into his heart. The affliction of every man, every woman in the world. What does it mean? The Son of God has gone all the way out to the limits of human suffering. The Son of Man has gone all the way out to the limits of human suffering. For what? Son of man went all the way out to the limits of human suffering. Everyone in pain, everyone abandoned, everyone betrayed. In short, the way of the cross was the good shepherd in search of the wounded, abandoned, 
strayed sheep in the pain of the loneliness of abandonment. The resurrection tells us that anyone wandering far away from God is wandering into the arms of the good shepherd. You and I could be in big trouble. Trouble because of the powers of sin overpowering us. We are not able to resist the tyranny of the injustice and corruption. So much of pain, so much of sin in the world around us. And we are tired of all this. It is into this cruelty and atrocity and misery that God the Father sent the Son. Did not Jesus said, when I am raised up, I will draw all to myself. The cross is open. Raised up ten feet high in Jerusalem, on Golgotha, by the gates of the city. That cross, that cross is open to the right and to the left and to the heights. Gathering, gathering, everyone in pain, everyone in sin, struggling in sin, gathering everyone Turning to him like the good thief. Promising paradise to everyone who believes in him. There is hope. This hope, whatever misery that we are going through. Every time I am languishing in despair. Every time the powers of sin are overcoming me. Every time I imagine there's no hope in life, the hands of the Good Shepherd reaching out from Calvary, the hands of the Good Shepherd picking us up. Direction or sin, where is your victory? Or death, where is your sting? The Lord gives us great hope today to everyone. We're being drawn into Calvary from there to the glory of the resurrection. A great hope should be roused up in our hearts. Our hope that we must be sharing today. We're living in almost a hopeless world. Everyone despairing. God has won the victory. We need to be part of his saving work of salvation. Restoring the world to the new heaven and new earth. That's the vision of our God. Let us share that victory with everyone around us, especially those who are despairing, those who are in distress, those who are upset and angry. Tell them, this world is not final. Tyrants will not succeed ultimately. God is in charge. And God is turning. Really present in us and in the world around us. Turning everything to our good. Amen. It is with this message of hope that I want to wish every one of you happy and blessed Easter.
a soul stand up we want to put our faith in the lord it is so important that we profess our faith because the media the people around they are insisting that the world is of no good life is not worth living you and i who believe in christ shall proclaim this life is worth living because god is truly present god i but we profess when we pray the creed I believe in God, in the, Father, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He has ascended into, into heaven, heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father, Father the Almighty. Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. After every invocation, let us respond. Lord hear our prayer Lord hear our prayer Lord we bring to the glory of this altar all those who are slipping into despair all those who are frightened about the future all those who find life is meaningless all those who are languishing in prison all those who are enslaved by the powers of evil and sinful addictions lord the pleasures of this world are not final there is joy and victory only in you reveal your glorious Listen face to every the whole house in them we pray to you o lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer we pray for the church our holy father pope francis all the bishops and priests and religious and lay leaders in the church that the church may shine forth as the sign of hope in a dark world of hopelessness we pray to the lord lord, lord hear our prayer. prayer we pray for the youngsters who are just beginning to live searching for a way of the future for many of them that way is now closed that is what they feel lord give them hope that you are the way you are in charge you are in authority over this broken world and and you will guide them by the hand we pray to you o lord lord, lord hear our prayer we pray all the families that the peace and joy and love that you proclaimed after the resurrection may reach the relationships in our families giving them a new joy on this day and in the days to come we pray to you o lord lord hear, lord, hear our prayer oh god we believe we believe o oh god that the resurrection is real that you are with us that you are present acting turning this world to a new
ป็น prayer through Christ our Lord Amen, Amen. Take my heart, O oh Lord. Take my hopes and dreams. Take my mind with all its plans and schemes. Give me nothing more than Your love and grace. These alone, O oh Lord, are enough. Thoughts, oh Lord, and my memory. Take my tears, my joy, my liberty. Give me nothing more than Your love and grace. These alone, oh Lord, are enough. That my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Exultant with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. We, we lift up our God. It is right, right and, and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as. They acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of all, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the two fall, so that we come the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Save us, Savior of the world, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial, of his death and resurrection, we offer you of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, all the bishops and priests and religious and lay leaders everywhere in the church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. With the confidence of the children in the love of our Heavenly Father, let's all pray to Him in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, thy will be, be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. And, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us, lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her Peace and unity in accordance with your world who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Offer each other a sign of peace. Take away their sin, 
of God slain and risen, slain in shame and risen in glory for our salvation. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed Lord. are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof. but only, only say the, say word. the word. My, My soul, soul shall, shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there in my heart. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Passover has been sacrificed. Alleluia. Therefore, let us keep the feast with the unleavened bread of purity and truth. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that, renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah. 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 Dear sisters and brothers, once again from the sanctuary, from the presence of the Lord, from the Divine Retreat Center, I wish every one of you the peace and the love and the joy the risen Lord brings to our lives, to our hearts. Christ the Lord is risen today. Thy 
Christine. 